Hello and welcome to indigomusic.com. I'm Rohit and I'm joining me right now is an independent artist from uh, Nama Bengaluru who took the bold step and moved away from his corporate career and become a full-time musician, Jishnu from Swaratma. Jishnu, welcome to indigomusic.com. Hey Rohit, it's absolutely great to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Jishnu, I want to start off with this. You've built an impressive career that bridges, you know, the seemingly disparate worlds of music and corporate success. What initially drew you towards music and how did you manage to balance your passion with your academic and professional pursuits? You know, it's a very common question. Uh, how do you balance what you really love to do versus what you have to do? But, you know, uh, Rohit, what I believe is that if you really want to do something, you will find a way to do it. And in my case, it was this pure, simple joy of playing music with other people. And that's how I somehow remember that wherever I've been, whatever I've been doing, I've always been playing music with others. You know, I had a band in engineering college. And then when I was working as a software engineer, I used to be jamming with other people. And I went to XLRI. I had a band over there in Bodhi Tree. And, uh, you know. Absolutely. Now, this is a segment called Be Bold and is uh, brought to you by Vidyashrip University. Now, like Vidyashrip University's focus is on fostering well-rounded individuals with diverse interests, what advice would you like to give students who, like yourself, are passionate of pursuing, you know, non-traditional paths alongside their academics? Well, I think um, ultimately creativity flows from the ability to create an environment for it. And Sometimes environments happen by design and sometimes environments happen by accident. Right. For example, if you have a very oppressive academic or uh, a very strict um, educational or even a corporate structure, chances are that people will try to find ways to express themselves because of that oppression that they feel. However, if you go to the absolute opposite end where you are actively creating a fertile bed for people to express themselves, to, to understand more about their creativity. I think that's a great uh, opportunity for creative people. Like we were talking about corporate and your transition from a corporate career to a full-time career in music. And let me tell you, it requires immense courage. What was that bold move moment in your journey with Swaratma and your musical yes. career? And how did it shape uh, your career trajectory at where you are now? Well, I think um, it was a difficult call. And, uh, you know, the uh, the creative arts, while they are a human necessity, they aren't always looked upon as a viable career option in, in many situations. But then I think that I was really fortunate in having a partner, in this case, my wife, Shreya, who without her support, this whole journey would definitely have not been possible. Um, but uh, the... The core idea behind that was that we were at a point in Saratma's career that if all of us in the band had not put everything else aside and invested all of our time, energy, focus, and attention into the music, we wouldn't have ever known whether it would have worked or not. So I think it was an idea whose time had come. And in my case, I you know let go of my job at ITC Limited where I was a brand manager the rest of the guys in the band took similar calls at various stages. And uh, yes, I think that's the way, that's how we are, where we are. But like it boils down to having belief in what you think is the right thing to do and trying it out. Because I think we are now at a point in time where even if you do try something out and it doesn't work, you will at least know that you did what you needed to do to give that idea a chance. And you know, it comes back to, like I was saying, creating an environment. If you can create an environment for yourself, creativity will be a natural result of that. Right. Fantastic. And speaking about creativity and making music, uh, you've dropped a brand new single called Roshan uh, recently. Tell me more about this track. Tell me more about the inspiration behind this particular song. Yes. Uh, so Atma's new song, Roshan, is out now. Rohit, I'm so glad that I'm getting a chance to talk to you folks at Indigo about it. Um, it is the first single that we are putting out in three years, so it's very, very special. Uh, the song came about as a result of a retreat that the band did about a year ago, where we reconnected as uh, members of the band that we've been playing in for now years and years. Um, and I think this song was a gift. You know, we didn't really try too hard. It just happened during a jam session, I think, on the second or third day. And uh, 
we held on to it you know the, you know it, it it sometimes happens that you get a snatch of inspiration and it often flows away before you have a chance to to latch on to it and to grab it so we managed to do that <laughs> and uh, the song is about being elevated liberated when what it feels like to have a weight lift off your chest and be lit up and illuminated by that feeling so that is roshan and yes i hope you enjoyed it it's out on all streaming platforms and i hope you get a chance to hear it on this station as well absolutely we're going to play it right after my last question to you when i called you up this morning you were like you were excited you were in the studio i said you i could hear some guitar strums you know strumming of guitar in the background and you said exciting news because a lot of new music is coming out so what can we expect from you and the band in the near future before i tell you what you can expect rohit i have to appreciate this this is why i like talking to you and uh, the other my uh, friends at indigo that you have your ears open you know when someone's in the studio you know when some recording is happening and then you will ask the question like this <laughs> so yes we are in fact in the process of recording the rest of the album roshan uh today we were tracking bass guitars for uh, two of the new tracks and we are planning to release one single every four to six weeks after roshan so yes i'm looking forward to many more such conversations with you Absolutely looking forward to many more music from Swaratma and you as well uh, Jishnu thank you so much for having this conversation thank you so much for taking some time out and all the best with your future releases and keep rocking thanks so much Rohit always a pleasure to be on Indigo take care all right bye Jishnu